Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nash with 1,361 rating versus YGODaily.com2 with 860 rating, so this going to be another high rated DB video, also make sure to go ahead and check out Nash's Metify, linked down below in the description, and let's hop in. So we're going to see YGODaily.com win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, they're going to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Cope, Headhunt, Ogre, Griffin, Cope. They have TC Boo, Golden Lord, Cursed, Warlord, Scarlet. I haven't seen more and more DDD recently. They're going to activate Cursed, and then Cursed Effect, Pay 8, Feel Great, Go Search. They main deck the Golden Land forever. And they're going to Golden Lord Effect to send Cursed, Cursed Effect, send Conquistador, and then set 3, End Phase, Conquistador, Scarlet, set Conquistador, Scarlet. So we have... Scarlet, Conquistador, Warlords, TC Boo, Golden Land, whatever. So, like, you know, Floodgates, plus a way to protect it, plus Engine. I mean, that's all you really need. They're going to go main phase, activate Scarlet during the draw phase. They're going to chain Called by, targeting the Golden Lord. Okay, so just getting rid of that one. They're going to bring on another one from deck. And then main phase, summon. Might have been afraid that they just summon the one back from Graveyard. Um, so cope effect, dump swirl slime, and then griffin effect to try to special summon. They're going to chain the TC boo. Set pass to draw warlords. Uh, battle phase attack. So this deck is actually one of the few combo decks that has like true and like in engine outs to back row. They have orthros that can pop. Uh, they're gonna go main phase. Also, like side deck cards they have in engine that are good versus uh, back row decks. So we're gonna banish to summon, and then affect the search. So we're doing that so that way it's not an attack position. You know, special and defense obviously is not an attack. Uh, gate go search the Orthros. Activate Orthros. Golden land forever to negate that. Uh, is there a way to get that out of the grave? If not, then do they just play another one? Because I know that two was popular for a while, but then a lot of people ended up going down to one, uh, which made a lot of sense. But here would be a time where we'd want another one. So we're going to add back Golden Lord. Golden Lord out the headhunt. Decides to out the headhunt over the, uh, the gate. Which I guess isn't... Horrible. I don't know. Just, I feel like this searches the out, right? Throw Swirl Slime. Activate the gate. Maybe they're just putting them on, like, uh, have more than, like, have have more than one. Uh, they're going to take a thousand, though, during standby phase. Main phase. We will be using the effect now. Uh, go search. They're thinking on what they want to grab here. They're going to grab Vice King. Okay, so... Right over this once. I got to read over it again. Um, says you could target one number or target not one number, any number of dark contracts you control. Destroy them if you do special summon this card from your pendulum zone. Then you can increase or decrease its level by the cards destroyed. Okay, and then its monster effect is it locked in the DDD monsters. A DDD monster that was fusion summoned, synchro or XYZ or link summoned. Using this card in the field gains this effect. Once per turn, you can target one card in the field. Shuffle one dark contract from your field or graveyard into the deck, and if you do destroy that target, then gain a thousand life points. You can only use this effect of this once per turn. Um, so, I mean, I guess it's not bad. Maybe, I don't know, what, what are they trying to use this for exactly, I guess? Are they trying to use it as, like, an extender? Uh, set, pass, they draw cursed. And then activate cursed effect, pay it, feel great, go search. And now it's gonna grab Conquistador. Yeah, I try to keep up with DDDs a little bit, even though I don't really like the deck. I don't think it's very good. It's just like one of the only decks I actually own in person. Well, I'm missing like Floor and DDD Go, but those aren't really hard to get. Send, summon, battle phase, attack Griffin. Second Conquistador, pass, draw Valor, we lose a thousand from that. And then we're gonna go main phase and then use it to go search. Uh, it's gonna go search out the zero King Rage. Uh, we're gonna tribute set it, pass, they draw D barrier. 
Battle phase attack. It can't be destroyed by battle. I actually want to read over this just to make sure I know everything it does. Um, when this card declares an attack of your opponent's life points are 4,000 or less, you can make this card equal, uh, gain attack equal to the opponent's life points till the end of the turn. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage. Okay, okay. That's really what I want to make sure on is this little part right here. The, the other effects, you know, we can go over it. Uh, you contribute one other monster, apply one of these effects. None of those are like ones per turn. So, I mean, I guess like technically you can only activate like the attack once per turn. But you could use all three of these effects. You contribute three monsters and use all of them. So this card can attack directly. Your opponent cannot activate uh, cards or effects in the spell and trap zones. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in their hand or grave. So... And then pass, draw Lamia, uh, lose a thousand, normal summon out Veiler. They're going to activate Gozen match there, send the Veiler, activate Gate, and then Gate will go ahead and search out, pass, draw Skill Drain, draw Cope. So Cope can actually be used to protect from damage from this. If you read over it, it says, uh, once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate and activate spell effect that inflict damage to you, and then destroy this card. Activate gate effect now to go search. Just gonna grab Thomas, and then activate Thomas effect to add back. Grab back Griffin, and then activate Cope. Set pass. Draw duality. Switch to attack. Battle phase. Beat over. Pass. Draw Griffin, and then they're gonna you know try to lose a thousand. Use this to stop them from losing a thousand. Thomas to add back. Then scale it, pass to draw another duality. Switch to defense, pass, draw ogre. I mean, yeah, this person <laughs> really made a mistake with what they did. Like, they have the Gozen, the TC Boo. They can't get Golden Lord to Graver. They have the one on field, the other one's banished. This is a rough spot for them. I, I don't even know. Um, they're going to go Thomas add back. I mean, they eventually w might have an out. Maybe. Scale it to not take damage. Pass. Draw map. Scale it. You know, not lose the thousand. And then gate effect to surge. Go grab Vice Typhoon. I mean, we're going to be able to get all the DDDs out of our deck. Draw gate, Thomas add back, they're at 64 life points, scale, pass. So this can make this gang attack, and that's one way for this to like start doing damage. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's like any other convenient way that could make them gang attack. I don't think so, out of stuff that we'd be able to actually go into undergoes and TC, which is pretty much nothing. We're not going to be able to, like, use a lot. Uh, draw Swamp King, and then Thomas, add back, and then scale it, gate to go search, and then end phase, we discard, pass turn, they discard, draw Ash Blossom, protect, oh, switch to attack. Okay, now we're going to activate the Griffin, Griffin effect target, um... It's just two uh, different names, right? Just to make sure, uh, yeah, with different names currently on Field of Graver, so it has a thousand attack. Set Swirl Slime, Effect Tribute, Battle Phase, Attack Directly for a thousand. Main Phase 2, Thomas, Add Back, Scala, and then um, we're going to Gate Goes Search. I don't think we've done that this turn, right? Honestly? Honestly, I'm not even going to check because that's going to take like 30 seconds. If he did, it probably doesn't even matter. Draw one for one. You're just searching, you know, a blank there at that point. Uh, use this to save the life points. Griffin the gang attack. Um, this is destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then battle phase. Attack for a thousand. Main phase two. Thomas at back. Scale. Pass. Draw cursed. Pass. Draw ogre. Use that to protect, go main phase, gate, go search swirl slime, activate Thomas, grab back Griffin, activate, effect, make that gang attack. They're going to set that. Ooh, see? See that, see that little technique right there? You see a little technique? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, 
We went ahead, entered battle phase, and then went back to main phase. Said, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I gotta do the thing. I gotta do the thing. And I know, I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, Nestor's a cheater, blah, blah, blah. But, like, if you've played on DB and you've played on DB a lot, you've done the same thing. Uh, it's actually, like, a joke in the community that, like... In, in person, I'll do this too sometimes, like trolling and testing. I'll be like, ah, oh, misclick, misclick, misclick. Let me go back real quick. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and attack for a 1,000. Now, next turn, this will be able to do the full damage that is needed. We draw Valor, standby phase. We take the, th and that's game. Wow. Should have sent the cursed, shake my head. My brain is hurting. <laughs> well played. It's a 30-minute game one. Yeah. Uh, going on into the next game now. We're going to see Eldritch go first. Can't lie. Can't lie. It was not looking too good for DDD. Not at all. But opening hands, we have Orthros, Gate, Griffin, Valor, Lightning Storm. They have Prosperity, pros, prosperity, <laughs> prosperity, Skill Drain, Compulse, Torrential, Punishment. So we'll go Main Phase, Activate Prosperity. Let's try to find an out. Uh, okay. Okay, we will take that. Um, it's almost like prosperity is better than extravagance in this deck. Oh my god, I don't even know how many times I should say that. Like, prosperity, it makes your extra deck actually better, so you don't have to play the random multiples, because, like, the extra deck actually matters in this deck. Uh, you see your outs to stuff like Lightning Storm more often. If you're gonna play this deck in a big tournament, these are the cards that are gonna eventually wipe you out of the tournament, probably. Activate, set, pass, or Lamia. And then main phase, are going to normal summon over the rose. Griffin effect. Yeah. Uh, there's no point of activating Lightning Storm, by the way, because this just protects the sets. Uh, this actually protects not just sets there. If you read it, um, it says set cards on the field. All of them. Wild, right? Uh, they're going to torrential that. And then Lord summon out. Go set from deck. Okay, so now the back row can be destroyed by Lightning Storm and will be. They're going to chain Compulse to bounce back to hand. And then they'll get a Cursed Effect to send. Send Conquistador. Activate Gate. Gate, go search out Thomas. Oh, wait, this works, right? Because they can go Thomas, add back, scale, pendulum. Yeah, Lamia effect, then to send gate to special summon, right? That That's what happens here. Or I guess you get to draw one off Griffin first. Yeah, and then we just send this from hand or graveyard. Um, and then Lamia, send summon, get rid of those. Yeah, go for the link. We already have our scales. Go for the XYZ. I mean, this doesn't do a whole lot, but... Our opponent's also not doing a whole lot. And we have follow-up now off of our draw. They're going to set Scarlet and then phase pass, draw Prosperity, activate the Prosperity to go banish. I guess we can look over everything that's been in their extra deck. We see the Nova package for the Maximus. You know, this little Christmas package. It's been a while since we've got to say that since Invoke just fell off. Uh, but go banish and look at the top six. Compal, Scarlet, Golden Land Forever, Golden Lord, D-Barrier. Uh, so grabs the D-Barrier and then put those back to the bottom. Now, um, they're going to activate the Lord, set D-Barrier. End phase, they're thinking that they want a Zeus. They end up Zeus in the field. Uh, then they're going to Scarlet, second Conquistador, pass, draw Ash Blossom, switch to attack, activate Gate, gate Effect, go search out Cope. And then normal summon cope, cope effect to dump. Uh, so they know everything that they have. Uh, they're going to dump Vice Typhoon. Vice Typhoon effect. They have to chain Conquistador in response because if they don't, they summon the guy. Ah, I forget his name. The Flame High King. It'll, it'll negate this. That's pretty much what will happen. So they're going to do that here. Um, the only thing is that the DDD player can for sure keep going just by doing like the simple link off technique and then scale up by losing a thousand life points. And then really from there, we just have to, you know, actually wipe out our opponent. Um, now go ahead and pendulum summon out the cope and Orthros and they just go ahead and admit defeat there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, I will be game a couple different ways, right? Because, I mean, you don't want to have to use this effect of special summon back up from the graveyard because then you can only do half damage. But is, is there a way where you just like, yeah, I mean, you could synchro those off, make the synchro, effect target conquistador, negate it. And it goes back to the spell and trap zone. I'm fairly certain that's what the synchro. It definitely negates and it targets a phase. Okay, it, it does, it does. I just, I don't, I don't like saying like 100% sure if I'm only 99% sure. But you make the synchro, negate that, goes back to spell trap zone. Uh, summon the XYZ guy over that. Griffin effect, make the 28 guy gain 500 attack. Battle phase, beat over 3,000, 3,000 games. So, yeah, we see them at the feet. GG's, GG's. And then the match was 40 minutes long. All right. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have it. Wait, wait, wait. Before I sign off, actually, it was funny because Nesh sent me the replay, actually. And he sent me replays before. He sent the last time he sent the replay, though, is when, like, the first minute of the replay, he double normal summoned on accident. He sent it and was like, there's no double normal summons this time. And I was like, unless, unless, I put the little eye emoji but, you know, he didn't double normal summon this time. So that being said, DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.